Hey guys, what's up? This is Coach Ari. Welcome back to another week of workouts. Let's take a look at what we have for you today. So here's your warm up. We have 30 mountain climbers. On these mountain climbers, keep your butt low and keep your knees into your chest when you're doing those mountain climbers. You got 15 on both legs, of course. Right after that, we have 15 uh, body halos. So straddle stance, you're gonna reach for your toe on the left all the way around down to the right and then overhead and then reverse that order for your body halos. Uh, 30 squats, regular basic squats, push your knees out, keep your chest up, put your butt below the kneecap. And then after that, you have 15 regular sit-ups. So on the sit-ups, make sure your knees are open, your hands touch the floor behind you, and of course, hands going in between your feet to finish the movement. Uh, 30 jumping jacks, basic jumping jacks. After that, we have 10 high kicks, and then 10 seal claps, and then follow that is 10 uh, super 90-90. Okay, on these super 90-90s, you wanna make sure that you're in a straddle stance with your knee, you're gonna rotate all the way around to the other side and hold that position for 20 seconds and then rotate back, hold that position for another 20 seconds. Okay guys, so here's the skill for the day. We have five rounds, starting off with 10 weighted glute bridges. So if you have a kettlebell, a dumbbell, or any kind of weighted object, great, use that. Place it on your hips, move your heels towards your butt while you're in the lying down position. You're gonna push into the floor with your heels, raising the hips all the way up into a straight line and of course coming right back down, repeat the process. So you have 10 weighted glute bridges. Right after that, we have 15 skull crushers. On the skull crushers, you're still in that laying down position. You're gonna place the object directly over your head and your face so your arms are completely straight. From that position, you're gonna bend the elbows until the bell or the object or whatever it is you have touches the floor or it gets close to your head. Then you're gonna extend the arms all the way over your head and face again in the upright position. So you have 15 of those reps. Following that, we have 10 single leg RDL. So you're gonna uh, do an RDL on the right side first. The left leg will be in the air slightly. As you send your hips back, keep your back straight. You're gonna reach down below your kneecap with the opposite arm, all the way down, and then right back up, and then repeat the process for uh, 15 reps on each, uh, sorry, 10 reps on each side, and then of course 10 reps on the other. So again, you're gonna keep your chest up, send your hips back, perform a regular deadlift except the bell doesn't go past uh, your knees, okay? All right guys, so here's your workout for the day. So we have two movements. We have a single arm thruster and we have burpees. So the rep scheme is 21, 15, and nine. So this is how it works. You have 21 single arm thrusters on the left side, 21 single arm thrusters on the right, and then you have 21 burpees. After that, you have 15 thrusters on the left, 15 thrusters on the right, 15 burpees, and of course, nine, nine, and then nine burpees, okay? And that is your workout for the day. So guys, on the thruster, make sure that that one bell is on the left side or right side shoulder, wherever you're starting. Make sure that the elbow is upright and make sure that the bell is not falling down so that you're gonna have a hard time with it. So keep the bell up and onto your shoulder also, don't have the bell falling off your shoulder. That can cause a little bit of injury there. So keep the bell directly on your body or on your shoulder. From there, you're gonna send your hips back and of course, you're gonna squat. As you're squatting, you're gonna generate speed and power by jumping straight up into a pressing motion and of course, repeat the process. All right guys, and next is of course the burpees. So when you're doing these burpees, make sure you drop down onto the floor. Hips hit the floor, your chest hits the floor, and then you spring right back up, as you can see in the video. Uh, and of course, make sure that you're being explosive with this movement. Try not to be slow on the burpee, but don't be too fast, okay? All right guys, so that's all we have for you today. Make sure you guys post your scores, keep in contact with us, and we'll see you on the next one.